Your Daily 180, 180 Seconds of Pure Bible Study. Today we begin John chapter 3. Notice what happens as we approach this text. Now there was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. This man came to Jesus by night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher come from God, for no one can do these signs that you do unless God is with him. I have a lot of compassion for Nicodemus. Nicodemus is a man who is steeped in religious tradition. He's steeped in a lot of prejudice, but he's struggling to be honest with all the evidence, and he acknowledges the fact that, you know what? This Jesus, he's not just a man. There's something going on here. I want to talk for just a little bit about this idea of him being a ruler of the Jews. Uh, He is really grappling with this. And he is a man of great authority. And the Pharisees themselves, um, they did a lot of great things, but their favorite conceit was that they were children of Abraham. And not only that, they had put a hedge around the law, and they were a notch above everyone else it would be so unlikely that he would come to jesus that someone like him would come to jesus the pressure nicodemus felt would have been tremendous Uh, should he follow what he knows is right or does he do what's convenient i think a lot of people struggle with that today they look at the religious groups they're in and they say you know this doesn't add up it's not the same as what the scripture says and Do you do what's convenient or do you do what's right? Now listen to John chapter 12, verse number 48. Even among the rulers, many believed in him. In other words, they, on a mental level, they acknowledged that he was right. But because of the Pharisees, they did not confess him, lest they should be put out of the synagogue. You see, following Jesus would have been very inconvenient for them. If Nicodemus openly accepted Jesus at this time, he would have lost everything that was near and dear to him, which is his power. It is his prestige. Now, before we beat up on Nicodemus too much, I think we need to look at us. What would true discipleship? I don't mean just saying, oh, yeah, I'm a Christian. I, 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 I attend. I attend occasionally. I attend three days a week. What would it really cost us to be a true disciple of Jesus Christ? Wow. It would cost us everything. We'll talk a little bit about that tomorrow.